Fact to follow-up segment tonight, loss in the hysteria surrounding the view situation was my original point that is laid out in my book, Pinheads and Patriots. Not only, not only is President Obama getting hammered by the bad economy, but some of his decisions have separated him from many working Americans. On the view, I pointed to his refusal to answer the question about the wisdom of the Ground Zero Mosque. That's what lit the fuse. Joining us now from Los Angeles, Fox News analyst Leslie Marshall, and from Washington, Dana Perino, also a contributor to FNC. So, Dana, do you see a gulf between the president and the folks? Unfortunately, yes. You know, um, earlier this week, I was watching some footage from President Obama when he was the candidate and on the campaign trail. And you look at those speeches and you listen to them and you can understand why he won by such a substantial margin in November of 08. And then you compare that to some of his speeches today. And it's almost like, what happened to that other guy? Where did he go? And part of it is that when he came to town, he felt like he had a great mandate to do things. On everybody's mind, jobs. What did they first get? A stimulus project that now even he admits he based on shovel-ready projects that don't exist. They found health care. I think that the Ground Zero Mosque thing, Bill, was actually just the straw that broke the camel's back. And I don't know how he gets back you know, get his, gets his mojo back when it comes to being connected with people. All right, Leslie, what do you say? Well, I have to say I do agree with Dana on the enthusiasm and the vibrant speaker that I had voted for. I have seen that change as we see a lot of presidents get older and tired real fast once they get to the White House. Uh, but I don't feel that the issue of the mosque is the issue where Americans either support or don't support him. There are Democrats that don't favor the uh, building of the mosque or want the mosque to be moved. And then again, they will vote for the president. Uh, there certainly are people that have a divide amongst each other and a divide with the president when it comes to policies, the, the economy, the jobs they're waiting for, and those who support him and but are going to, like myself, are going I, to be patient it waiting for the It results. isn't the mosque ground zero controversy. There are two things about it that are, that are very fascinating. One is very simple. You either think it's appropriate or you don't. And simple issues galvanize the public, okay? That's number one. Number two, it's, a, it's an accumulation of things, Leslie. The Cambridge police Harvard professor thing. The suing Arizona over illegal alien law. The failure to prosecute Black Panthers for election violations in Philadelphia. And now the Ground Zero Mosque. All of these are emotional issues that galvanize the attention of the folks. On all of them, he has been on the other side of what the polls say. That's the gulf that President has created. Am I wrong, Dana? I think that you're right, and I, part of it is that we are still a center-right nation, and possibly even moving more, a little bit slowly, to the, to the right, um, if evidence of the midterms is any um, guide. Um, and this it's the rhetoric as well. It's the tone, Bill. It's what people hear him saying, and they think, he, 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 well, I might disagree with his policies, but I want to be able to think that he has my best interests in mind. And that's what people don't see. What they hear is a lot of condescension. And if you look at some of the op-eds well, by uh, the if it's founder of Home Depot today in the Wall Street Journal, I mean, he said, I think it is. I think that's how people hear it. I think that's well, maybe in they hear it that way. But it. I don't know if it's condescension. But it, it, look, look, let me let me ask you this, Leslie, because this is this is fascinating to me. Remember the overseas contingency uh, description of the war on terror? That the Obama administration wouldn't call it a war on terror. Instead, they call it an overseas contingency situation or some insane euphemism. Now, when I saw that, I went, that's just stupid. But I wasn't, I, I didn't condemn the president because I know he has to get the cooperation of the government of Pakistan, of the government of Saudi Arabia, of the new government of Iran. He has to get Muslims to cooperate with the United States in order to win the war on terror. So if he wants to call it an overseas contingency thing, I don't care. But it does send a message, unless it's explained, and he certainly didn't do that, Leslie. It sends a message like, this guy's not like me. I'm not calling it an overseas contingency. I'm calling it a war on terror. You get my point? Leslie, I do get your I do get your point, and and I admire the fact that you realize that he is president of the United States, and he can't just infuse his personal opinions or right. what he, he most Americans correct. want or don't want in the polls right. when it comes to policy. But I I don't I think sometimes we really get hung up either way, left or right. 
the president or not on semantics? Does it matter what he refers to it as? Isn't it what it the American to the people folks. believe it to be? It matters to the so, folks. So, Presidents have always lived or died on public perception. Dana, you know that better than anyone. Presidents absolutely. live or die on public yes. perception. And I will just point back to, you know, when I was press secretary at the White House, one of the things that was most important was to have a little humility and to look at our situation, our policies and maybe our communication and, and realize we have got to pivot, change course or do something to get them back or at least to explain it to people better. I don't think they just have a communications problem. They have a fact problem, but their communications could be kinder and gentler, put a phrase on it. All right, ladies, thanks very much as always. We appreciate